Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. Nitya gives us SWAT, which is a family children light filler type game. These games don't play awfully well with me. I don't know that I'm their target market. I have a lot of interest outside of board games. So when it comes down to possibly playing something that's just a time waster, there are other things that I'd, I'd kind of like to do. Um... I feel like there's a lot of games that give me some meat in them in a short period of time. Maybe if I was sitting around waiting on somebody, maybe I'd play this. Or maybe I would just talk and be like, geez, are they coming? It's rude to be late. So I don't know if there's something I would play maybe with children. Um, but then again, I'd probably rather do something else with my children other than play something like this. I think they would like it, but by the time they were able to understand... They're not just swatting at random that perhaps a better game could be played. Maybe. I don't think my children are quite old enough. This says 7 plus. I'm not sure my children are old enough to appreciate this game or to um, possibly want to play it or understand it. And I'm not sure anybody I know would want to play this and, and have fun at it. It's, it's just kind of a silliness thing. Maybe a pressure luck, but I think I'd play Ink, Ink and Gold or something else. Um, there are people who are going to enjoy this. A little fun little game where you're f laughing and having a good time. Maybe playing it with non-gamers would, would be somebody you would, you would keep this game with. I could see a use for it maybe at a church event or something like that. Otherwise, it's a harmless game, but it, it's not a great game. It's, it's a one-trick pony. It's that pressure luck, and people are going to be swatting each other's hands, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe fly swatters would have been better, but it would increase the cost, perhaps. But uh, I don't see a total miss for me, but it's not a game for me, so I'm going to pass. But some of you are going to look at this and be like, man, that sounds like fun to play with the family at Thanksgiving, and, and, and have at it. It's just, mm, I'll watch football instead. So swat's going to be a pass. But not a hard pass. There, there's, there's a game here that's going to appeal to people. I'm just not the target market. And that's okay too sometimes. So, purge. Components for SWAT. You will get a useless piece of cardboard that you will play the cards on. You don't need it. It's completely useless. But it is colorful and has bugs on it. So, if you like to look at different kinds of bugs, I guess it's neat. And you'll get... A semi-large deck of cards with bugs on them. The only thing that really matters is the numbers, but you get some art that's funny, I guess. Kids will like. Bugs aren't too gross, I guess. Get some number, negative numbers, positive numbers. Uh, some zappers that look kind of cool. This is probably the, what I think is the coolest looking card. It's crazy looking. And then... Pretty much it. It comes with a rule book that falls out, and it comes in a tin box. It's very colorful. It's a very attractive tin. Um, the cards are good stock. And they're okay for this type of game that you'll you know hardly play. Uh, something you might play with your kids or a quick filler, but you're not gonna enjoy this game too much. So. But the card, you know, this is good. This is a good deck of cards and everything comes with it is fine. And that's the components for SWAT. The rule book for SWAT is one of these things that you kind of pull out and you unfold and it's like a pirate's treasure map from Goonies in here somewhere. Uh, the rules are pretty simple. I mean, this is a super, super simple game. Um, pretty much the rules are on this side. Uh, what, what the cards mean. 
Uh, this is this is pretty much the rules of the game itself right here. So rules are simple. You should learn this in minutes. Anybody could be taught. You could play this with your grandma. Uh, that's no offense to your grandma. It's just this could be played with nearly anyone. I could see, you know, it's just the reflexes of being able to do it. But being quicker isn't necessarily going to help you uh, because it's all about the cards. You get memorizing them and, you know, it's just a game. You're going to throw it out and play. So uh, the rules are fine. How to play squat? Swat. Very easy. Uh, one person will be the dealer. If you're the dealer, you cannot swat. The other players will. You'll just put a card out. Put a card out. Put a card out. Put a card out. You can talk. You can try to sell them. Oh, how great this is so far. And finally, or right off the bat, somebody go swat, and they'll take the car, all the cards that they swatted. And then they become the dealer. And they go like this. One card at a time. Until another player goes... SWAT! And then they take all the cards. And they become the dealer. And this continues until you get... Three SWATs. Everybody gets three SWATs. So, uh, once you get three piles, you put your piles together. And you count up your points. So... Let me show you how some of these cards will be. Cards like this give you the point listed, one point. Cards like this give you two points if you have two of these. So if, like, I got two here, two points. If I had only one of these, I would get zero. And that's how those cards work. And then you'll have cards like this. Whoever has the most of all the players gets seven points. Whoever has the least gets negative seven. And nothing if you're in the middle. And then you'll have cards like this. That will just be negative points. And the last type of card is the zapper. And you get victory points. So if you get one of these, zero victory points. Two, one. So these are going to be a set collection type. You get 60, 20, 7 plus, you get 40 points. If you can get seven of these, you're probably going to win. Uh, and that's just how the game goes. Very simple. Play a card, swat, and you stop. And you can do it after two cards, one card. If it'll last, you know, 50 cards will come out, whatever, and you go through the deck one time or until everybody has swatted three times. That's it. You count up your points. Swat. Who should buy this game? Church groups, uh, young kids, like teenage boys who want to be aggressive, maybe a light filler family game. Um, this, you know, even though I'm purging it, could be for a lot of different people. This is a very simple game. Maybe something you want to play at Thanksgiving with your family or at some kind of family reunion or whatever. I could see people coming in and out of the game and having fun. You don't really care if you win or lose. You can leave at any time. Not a big deal. Harmless is this game. Um, there's not a lot to say about it. It's not going to bring any emotion out of you. It's not going to be a fantastic experience. It is what it is. SWAT for me is going to be a pass.